Hello, YouTube friends and family. Okay, I've been wanting to make a pineapple cream cheese pound cake since Thanksgiving after the sweet potato pound cake. Sweet potato pound cake never got recorded because uh, cameraman was uh, having some technical difficulties, so we didn't finish the video. I made two. And, it's, and the first one I didn't record. The second one I tried to get him to help me record. Never happened, but maybe I'll get that recorded next season when I grow my own sweet potatoes to make it with. Because that made the difference. Check out my taters and totes video to see how I grow potatoes in my own backyard in the storage tote. Sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. So, we are making... I found a recipe on Pinterest. See this recipe. But if you see this recipe, you got so much wet and three cups of flour, which was weird to me. And then I was reading the comments and it was saying that um, the cake fell. So what I'm gonna do, you see where it says three cups of swans down. It's a difference between wet cup and dry cup if you don't know that about bacon. So, my one cup is uh, broken. But, this is one cup dry. This is one cup wet. See the difference? That's a that's a significant difference. So, from, from what I gather, I'm thinking that she used a, a, a wet cup for the dry flour. So, I'm going to use three cups of, three wet measure cups of flour. Cause that was just, that's just too much. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way that cake is gonna come out right. So, I've softened my butter. I had my eggs out for a little while, but I've softened my butter a long time ago. She did not include any instructions, but me, I know you put the wet in first, then the dry, then add the dry at the end. So first, we're gonna um, drop our three butters into the mixer and hopefully you can see what's going on there but it's just dropping the butter into the mixer so i'm just wanting to do this one because i take this butter i start greasing my pan with the butter with the with the butter paper that's old school right there when i watch my mama make cakes so you use this to help grease the pan but i'm not only doing this Especially when you're trying to get in all these grooves, you have to do it this way. But I'm not only doing this. Also, before you start mixing, preheat your oven. And I should have got a garbage bowl, Rachel Ray style. Let me just get a napkin to sit the trash on. That is so, I'm out of space. I should have did it on the big counter, but hindsight is 2020. It's happening over here. Okay, so we got that, but as a backup plan, I am going to spray it with bacon spray. Of course, none of this is sponsored. I don't have any sponsors, but I don't know if I want them because I'm noticing, and this a little chat while I'm doing this, I'm noticing it's a rash of YouTubers getting scam and what I my personal beliefs are with a criminal justice and fraud background um, and banking of course I think that so that's all done and I'm finna move this but yeah you want to spray it heavy I'll bring it back over when I'm ready to pour the batter in so I think my personal beliefs with a banking and fraud background and criminal justice degree. I think it is when sponsors, because the sponsor has reached out to me. I click the link, like with a brochure on it. And next thing you know, I had to get go out running by malware bytes before I could log into my bank account again. Google warned me that it was something on my computer. And and I'll probably do a whole separate like video or short on this too. But um, Google warned me that it was something on the computer. 
but and that I need to run a, a spyware scam. So I did when I had to go out and buy well, malware bites. I did not open any accounts, credit card, bank accounts, or anything on my phone or computers until I did that. Okay. Because I believe that's how they're taking information. So, and it's been exposed what YouTube's payday is. So, they are getting them right around payday. The bigger YouTube's is probably getting the good, good checks. They are getting them right around payday because they know when payday is. So, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they getting to them and getting their information. But, Okay, I just wanted to share that, and I'll probably share it on a whole separate video, because that's what some people need to know. Um, but I got my three sticks of butter. This this cream, this cream cheese about to went a little too long, people. But you know what? It's still cool, but it's real, real soft. Real, 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 real soft. <laughs> okay. Because I did set it out a few hours ago, and then went to laying back down. I'm having a lazy day because I was free this weekend, so it was like a little mini vacay for me. I ain't have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to get out and watch TV. And yes, my 15-year-old has to ask, especially when he has a C uh, or anything below a C on his car. Um, and what's for breakfast? <laughs> I can't imagine hearing that five and six times. I ain't got but one. So this was, I was able to tell that alarm don't come on this morning. And I slept until after eight o'clock. That was a magical thing. So we got our butter. What did I do with the, the oh there it is. We got Our butter. I'm looking at something this this pest control people don't put under my cabinets. Let me pull my cake forward. I hope it don't fall in my cake. Okay. We got the three sticks of unsalted butter. The one and a half. Oh. The cream one eight ounce package of cream cheese. I need. I'm gonna use dry measures for the sugar. Let me get this grease off my hand. So I'm gonna use dry measuring for the sugar because the pineapple juice gonna make it sweet. And the pineapple, so, and it takes brown sugar and regular sugar. So that's a lot of sugar. All oh, honey, honey, I tell you. So, I should have brought some scissors over here. Let me get some still because my teeth ain't even working. Please know I don't edit and it's going to be real, real, real deal. That's why I say let me at least lay out my ingredients because it'll really be a mess. So I want to use the dry measure and it's one and a half cups. And I'm going to firmly pack. It don't say firmly pack it, but I'm going to um, do the light brown sugar. This is the half cup measure. Or is it? Oops. It say one, two. Yeah, it's the half cup. So that's why I don't like buying this plastic stuff with the um, letters wrote on because it does come off eventually. That's the three. And then we're going to cream that together. <laughs> that took a whole box almost. I'll add it to my other sugar. Okay. And then we're going to do one cup 
of regular sugar. sugar. See, that's a lot. That is a whole lot of sugar. That is a lot, but that's where we at. Then we're going to add, go ahead and stir this some. So I'm going to do the five eggs. I want to make sure I don't get shells in them. Cause that did break kind of funky. One. Two. Three. I see a shell. Three. That's breaking, funky. Ooh. That's what you get with the cheap eggs from Dollar General, but whatever. If this cake don't turn out right, that would have been an expensive cake. Even how the yolks look, they look a little weird. Okay, so we got the five eggs ready to go in one by one. And while I'm doing that, let me do this. Should have wiped the top of that off. Okay, so turn this on. One. Ooh, it's running down the side of the bowl. y'all a little bit closer. Y'all can kind of see what's going on in the bowl. Then we're going to do two, three. Well, that's four of them. Okay, so now we're at this stage. I'm gonna scrape down the bowl. It looks so wet already, and I'm like, ooh, this gonna be the wettest of wet cakes. Scrape down the sides, cause this KitchenAid, I'm gonna try to go to Toomey and go ahead and buy the one, um, the beater with the little flaps on it. And see if that scrapes the bowl down as it's mixing more. Um, we'll see if that'll help. I don't measure vanilla like that. So I got this new one that had an I bought a rebate from Trader Joe's. I'm going to give it a try. Not sponsored. So I'm going to give this a try. Since it's all expensive and fancy. Now that's one thing you don't want to skip on in cakes. It's the vanilla. Oh goodness, I almost got that piece of plastic in my cake. I was wondering where it went. Okay, so... 
<laughs> running out the side. But that's okay. So we got our tablespoon of vanilla and it's dripping everywhere. Okay. Clean that bottle off. And clean the counter off. Okay. So we got that out the way. And then mix that in. So we did. We need a cup of buttermilk. Back to the wet menu. And I actually bought buttermilk for this recipe, so it better be good. One cup of buttermilk. And that's what I'm saying. This stuff is wet, wet. Okay, so we got the buttermilk in, and then we need a half a cup of sour cream. I'm going to use this for the half a cup of sour cream. I think this should have been a dry measure. So I think that's about a half a cup there. Oh, it's taking 15 minutes already. It's going to be a long video. Okay, stop with that spinning. Drop in the sour cream. And then we need a cup of the pineapple and the juice. That's why I was like, this stuff is juicy. And it's going to need, the flour is not enough. But I'm still going to pour the flour in slowly just to make sure it's looking like the consistency of a cake. But this looks like condensed milk. It's so, it's condensed milk type of juicy. So, mmm, mmm. Then um, let's go ahead and get that incorporated. Now I'm gonna need a tablespoon, a tablespoon of baking powder. Now I got these little cute spoons. They do carry these on to me. I paid too much for them on Amazon, FYI. On Timu, Timu. I don't know why I keep trying to call it Timu. Timu. So if you're interested, if you ever place an order, just go on ahead and grab these. Because I like it's got the dig in one and the round one. So I'm just going to add this to that the baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, I, the sad part about it, I, don't, I couldn't find my white salt. And I just redid the spice cabinet, so I don't know what's up with that. But we need a half a teaspoon. So I'm going to use Himalayan pink. What harm can it do? I found it real odd that I had no straight. And since I didn't already use salted butter, because if I only had salted butter and if that was what I had to use, I would not. I would have just not added the salt. And I've done that before and it worked out just fine. And let's see. So we got our, get our one cup of crushed pineapple with the juice. Okay, I'm going to have to pull some of that to the side. Oh, but it's good. Because that's too much with the juice and this is gonna be super duper juicy i say the rest for the um this is what i put to the side for the glaze because there is a glaze let me put this in the fridge clear up my space some huh? Okay, so that's oh, about a cup. I don't know, you can't even see it. 
trying to do too much here. It's about a cup. So we're gonna turn this back on. And we're gonna start squeezing it in there. See, that is the wettest, wet, wet of a cake I've ever seen. But that I'm somewhat following the recipe with modification. But now we got the pineapple in there. It's off the side. Got the pineapple in there. And now we'll slowly add the additional flour. I might even be pulling out that bag and adding some more, but this is the wettest of the wet cake I ever seen. Okay, it's thickening a little bit. So that was one of the things that I might even have to add three and a half wet cups of flour, because this here, it's loose. Okay, it'll work. It'll work, I see it working. So it's wet. Okay, it's catching on. Get down at the bottom and get this paddle cleaned off. But it's still, I guess that's okay. Let me get it going a little bit more. So based on this, let me do it this way because my arm keep getting in the way. That's still a little, I guess that's okay for a cake. I guess. So we've scraped down the sides of the bowl. That is a large amount of batter. I hope this cake pan that I got will hold it because it is a little shallow. I keep seeing lumps, but I gotta remember we got the crushed pineapple in there. So, it can stand this little bit of flour. I don't want it to be dry though. But that's, okay, so it, it worked that way. It might have been needed dry instead of wet. going to link the recipe down below the Pinterest recipe and y'all let me know if y'all make it and come out with different results I want to show you the recipe at, well the finished product at the end but um some old techniques to cake making don't if you off grade don't thump and walk around the house because something could happen called Falling, the cake can fall. If you like have an off-grade house, meaning raised up off the ground and your house kind of shiver if somebody stomped too hard or an apartment that may shiver when somebody stomped too hard, that could make the cake fall, especially one as delicate as this. So give it one little quick, one more quick stir. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's push this back. This is a heavy mixer, I tell you. Drop it. And then, push this to the side. We got our cake pan.
Y'all gonna laugh. I don't know how to get this thing off all the time. Ugh. Okay. Nope, that ain't helping. Okay. So I guess I gotta take this off too. And uh, let me find the spot. There's the spot. Okay. Again, this is only my second time using this thing. And it's a lot. It's a lot. So, all that goodness up on there. Yes, I could almost make two cakes out of this. But again, since it's so much wet in here, I don't think it's going to rise a whole lot. So, at least I hope not, but I just cleaned my oven and I don't want no mess. No, ma'am. So, Okay, so we got all of that very oiled, very ready. Don't want no mishaps when the cake's coming out. And you know what? If it's too much, I think I'll make a couple of cupcakes out of it. But, oh yeah, that's big. Yeah, this is the shallow pan. I should have used the other one. But then you shake it down. Thump it down, shake it down. Yeah, I got to make some cupcakes, too. Dump it down, shake it down. Oh, wait a minute. I got a little um, cast iron skillet I put the rest in. Hopefully, it don't rise. I don't think this is a risable cake. Fingers crossed. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, y'all. I ain't going to put it all in there at this point. I'm going to make a cupcake. Put that off to the side, and then you tap it down. I gave room for a little rise. Woo! Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we got this cake, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. It said 325 for 45 to 50 minutes. So. up under this pan. I don't want my oven to get jacked up just in case it decides to overflow. Alexa, set a 45 minute timer please. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I have a little bitty cast iron skillet. I'm going to go find and spray that down and put that in there. Put the rest of this because it's enough to fill that cast iron skillet. Or either I make two or three cupcakes. Hadn't pretty much decided, but I'll be back to show you the finished product. And hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed that this happened right. And I got to make the icing. So we may bring you along for that too. Okay, so the cake was about this high coming out the oven, and it's some. So I figured with all of that moistness that it would sink. These, I, I made an extra set of cupcakes. It was six of them. We've been sampling around here. They was up, and they fell. But the fact that they fell does not matter. And look at the edge. It looked like almost like a braid around the edge. But it is, my hands are clean, super moist. I had to cook this cake over an hour, I think. So I initially set it for 45 minutes. I cooked it at least an hour. But, because it just looked so, it was jiggling out the, um, before I could take it out of the oven, it jiggled. So I was like, okay, but I don't mind that it sunk because these are super, super moist. 
So I'm going to give you an idea of what the cake looks like on the inside. Crispy top. I'll probably go out, out at eight, one and a half. But see that moistness? It's super moist. Let me chunk some pineapple are in there. So I'll say it's a hit. Now I have to make the glaze. So I'm going to make the glaze and by then it should be warm enough for me to dump it and put it on the, um, in the cake plate. So I'll bring you back for that. Okay. 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 We back. Okay. So them cupcakes I made halfway gone. We ate one and a half a piece. Cameraman gives it the thumbs up. The taste is amazing. It is so delicious and moist. And it says two cups of this. I don't even know if I want to glaze it that heavy. So I'm just going to go with like half the bag. I think that's a lot of glaze. And a lot of sweet. And I licked the bowl. And I think I got some issues because I did not feel good afterwards. But it was the bomb. The batter was the bomb. I say the batter tasted better than the actual cake. But all of it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So I got me some. I do more than half the bag. Do a little bit more. I don't see how it's the two, 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 two cups of sugar. But powdered sugar. Oh, I forgot about the melted butter. That's jacked up. Let me go ahead and pause y'all. Give a pause for the calls while I melt two tablespoons of butter. Be right back. Okay, we are back. I have my two tablespoons of melted butter. I have, I did not use this little cup to the side because some buttermilk or something may have gotten into it. And I don't want to make it, you know, um, sour or spoil, just in case it did. And it's not going in the refrigerator, at least not tonight. So, we got the cake. And what we're going to do, oh gosh, I'm going to hold it. But it's going to fall out because I put all that stuff in it. Boom. Straight out. Straight out. There you go. <laughs> Look at mm. mm. So delicious. So delicious. So that's in there. I've washed the other dishes. You see all that's clean and put back. So, and this little piece right here is going to get on my nerve. But see how moist that cake look? Let me turn you around a little bit. Let me pull the cake out a little bit. See how that, oh yes, moist and pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this on up. So we have to put this in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's good. We're going to put some of the actual pineapple in there. And it said two tablespoons. So we're doing that. And then we're going to pour some of the juice. But with this, we got to take our time. So some juice to make a glaze. We don't want the glaze too thick. And we don't want it too thin. But you see that powder? Oh, if you could see this powdered sugar just dropping and melting. Oh my gosh, it's just it's disintegrate. It's just dropping. So let me try that a little bit more. Okay, so we got some of that and the butter. And we're gonna mix that up. So that's thick like icing. But we want it a little bit thin, I think. bit more juice a little bit more juice a 
all that juice off so that pineapple. And that's good. Because I want it to glaze, but I don't want it. I don't want it drippy. I want it to kind of stick to the cake. And since the cake's still a little bit tinge warm, it ain't cold all the way fully, you know, room temperature. We just gonna hold that on. Oh, let me pull it out. We gotta show you all of this. Look at all of that. Give you a good little view. And we gotta show you all of this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And this is my first time ever like glazing a cake like this. That looks so dang on good. That looks so dang on good. It's gonna be so much icing sitting in the middle though. Mm, 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 mm. The whole cake dripping down the side. Ooh, wee! Yeah, it's, some, it's a bowl of it in the center. That probably need to go Around the outside, around the outside, yeah. Yes! Y'all want some of that, don't you? Oh, I see a chunk of that didn't break down. Down here at the bottom. Oh, it's too much. I put some of this on two of the cupcakes. Because it's way too much. I'm going to have to pull some off the bottom. Let me see. Since I don't want to cut that because I need to film a short. Woo, that is so pretty. See, this already got a dent in the middle. I can't eat no more. I'm telling you, I might not wake up in the morning. That's how I'm feeling with the sugar. Oh my gosh, the sugar is a lot. Oh, the sugar. So, see this one? Shoot, I just want to dip it. Dip it in there. But, hold on to that. Let's see. I'm I'm right-handed. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll put a little bit in the middle. Cameraman! I got one with... I'm going to let him eat the one with the icing on it. But I got to cut the cake because some the people already on the list want some. So, oh well. Oh well. But, oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. Ha! I want to taste this. Let's taste the icing. On point. I got on the floor. I got to get that up. On point. Here, you have a taste. Don't you wish you could just taste that? Oh my goodness, it's so good. But that's it. I hope you like this video of the pineapple cream cheese pound cake with that big old hunk of icing in the middle that I'm going to put as I take pieces out. Now, this I don't like. It's a little bit of the. Let's put it down there where it'll sit. That ain't that ain't that presentable with chunks of uh the stuff on it. But that is delicious. So what I've learned, deepest bunt pan you got, and cook a whole hour. And yes, it needed that extra flour. So I would say liquid measure. Uh, two and three quarter cups of liquid measure flour and you got a good cake. It is super moist even after cooking a whole hour. So I hope you like this. Give it a try. I'll link the Pinterest recipe below. And I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's super long, but I baked the whole cake from start to finish. And remember, plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. Watch some of my other videos. Go play a playlist. If you, and also subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. I do it all over here. My name is JC, single mother of one son. And I'm here to teach you a lot of things, show you a lot of things. And it's just a lifestyle channel. Travel, gardening, budget shopping, stockpiling, prepping, everything. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm only two subscribe, uh, 200 subscribers away from that thousand. And I want you to join the family. 
plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed, and I love you to life. Bye-bye.